My name is Christian Flutter. Thanks for joining me today. Have you ever seen this kind of thing going on? Where your kids are like sitting there and they've got a bit of a tilt going on with their head and they can't really move quite so comfortably? Well, this is a condition called torticollis and it may be a result of something going wrong inside your child's spine. Now, what was really interesting is just the other day, I was reading this wonderful paper talking about kids who had this type of torticollis known as congenital muscular torticollis. Now, this is in little babies, but what was interesting is they found that kids with this muscular torticollis were more likely to have reflux based symptoms. So they might be vomiting or they might be whirling a little bit. It was really quite interesting. But at the same time, I sat there and went, that's not really that surprising. The top part of our neck is where a lot of the control over our gut comes from. And if it's not working properly in here, there is one particular muscle, the lower esophageal sphincter, which may not work as well as it should. And this results in a bit of food coming all the way back up and sometimes back out again. So this thing got me thinking, okay, if the neck can create this kind of problem, how can we tell if there is a little bit of a problem inside our child's neck? Well, first thing, we want to be talking about movement. We have discussed movement previously. I'll put a little thing at the top here so you can click on that one if you choose. But there are other little tests that we can do that will give us a bit of a clue in. Now, this test in particular is called the pull to sit test. And it's precisely as it sounds. We pull your child up until they're sitting. Now, it can look a little bit concerning because most of the time they, they flop their heads back a little bit. But guess what? That can be normal, especially in a newborn child. They don't have a lot of neck control at that stage. So what we do is we hold their child's arms and we pull them up. And as we're pulling up, we're looking to see how well this head moves. Does it keep in a midline neutral position? Or is there a little bit of tilting going on? Or a little bit of turning going on? Or is there a bit of lagging behind going on? There can be many indicators of a little bit of neck dysfunction as a result of this test, or not as a result of this test, revealed by this test. So when you do this kind of maneuver, firstly, you have to be very gentle. Don't just yank them up like this. Nice and slowly. You'll probably watch your health nurse do it at their regular appointments. Make sure that they are holding their head in a neutral position because any turning either side could indicate a little bit of a problem. And in that case, you can always ask me how to help. Thanks.